Hi everyone, let's discuss top 4 writing tips for increasing your marks in law. Now first of all, if you're trying to look for a shirt in a clumsy filled up cupboard, it will be too difficult, right? However, if it is neatly organized, you'll be able to find it in one go. The same goes for the examiner. He's just trying to look and find some good content and keywords in your answer. If you organize it in clumsy long paragraphs, he will not be able to find it. So write your answer in points. And this tip is more important for the students who are not blessed with very beautiful handwriting. So you have to write your answers in points, most preferably, right? If it is not possible, then you can write in short paragraph. Now, sometimes the students are confused about the length of the question. That means how much should we write one page, two page, see? Uh, first, you have to read the question carefully and analyze what is the core point? What is the relevant point in drawing the conclusion? Now, sometimes it may so happen that the section is too long and cannot be produced in entirety for a four mark question. So you have to write just that relevant part, which is uh, important for drawing the conclusion. However, on the contrary, I would say sometimes the section or the point is too less in comparison to your marks. At that particular point of time, you also need to add some incidental and related relevant things. So this is a, a point of professional judgment where you have to make a choice that how much should I write? In most of the cases, it just has to be the core content, but in some descriptive type cases, you can say you have to add a little bit of spice or add a little bit of other relevant things to make up your answer. Now the third point, ma'am, how many paragraphs? Usually when I tell you to write a case study based answer, it is said that you have to have fancy four paragraphs, no my dear. Trust me, two paragraphs are way more professional and uh, elegant for a beautiful answer. However, in some cases you might be needing three paragraphs also. So the most important two paragraphs are first, the provision, the code content, which has to be given huge emphasis. And the second one is the conclusion. Okay, sometimes if it is a question of five marks or more, you can add a third paragraph, which is the analysis. Okay, otherwise, just the provision and the conclusion. The conclusion doesn't have to be one liner. Yes, this is so. No, it has to be with proper justification. And that's going to make your answer look way more professional. And lastly, Keep in mind the basic rule of band that is your best answer first, all parts of answer together and new answer on a new page. Thank you.